And the latest from the Israel-Hamas war. 24 hostages have been released by Hamas and 39 prisoners have been released by Israel as a part of a four-day truce. Well, the war between Israel and Hamas, which has been raging for several weeks, finally witnesses a few moments of peace. Families on both the sides of the war are now reuniting with their lost loved ones. Have a look at these visuals. This is where it all began. This is how Hamas handed over Israeli hostages to the Red Cross. Most of the hostages were aged and the youngest was a two-year-old child. The hostage swap was two-way, which took place on Friday. The hostages released on Friday from Gaza included 13 Israelis, 10 Thai citizens and one Filipino citizen. Qatar, who is mediating the truce, also said that he is hopeful that the American hostages will also be released. At least four Americans, who are women and children, will be released soon. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu reacted to the development last night and welcomed the hostages back into the country. Take a listen. <laughs> אבל אני מדגיש לכם, למשפחות ולכם, אזרחי ישראל, אנחנו מחויבים להחזרת כל חטופינו. A crowd of jubilant Israelis welcomed children and women who were held hostage by Hamas in Gaza for 49 days. The hostages were transported by helicopters to the hospital in central Israel. The hostages upon entry into Israel were subjected to a thorough medical examination. And the hostages were declared to be healthy and safe. About half an hour ago, I was thrilled to be the one to receive four children, three mothers and a grandmother to the best and most caring hands here at Schneider Children's Medical Center of Israel. Their physical condition is good and they're currently undergoing medical and emotional assessment by the medical and psychological team here at Schneider's. We designated a special area that is very private, and there is also a team from our neighbor, Bailinson Hospital, that is assisting us in taking care of the women. Another five women who were Hamas's hostages were transported aboard a chopper to the medical center in Tel Aviv. Meanwhile, Palestinians are rejoicing the return of 39 prisoners held in Israeli jails. A massive crowd gathered and cheered as prisoners arrived in a town outside West Bank. The release of the 39 prisoners is a part of the latest truce between the two warring sides. <laughs> حريتنا لم تكتمل إلا لتحرير آخر أسير بسجون الاحتلال مشاعر الفرح مغلفة بالحزن على المجزر التي يرتكبها الكيان الإسرائيلي بحق شعبنا بقطاع غزة بنوجه تحية الوفاء والنصر لأهلنا بقطاع غزة فاليوم نقدر نحكي إنه إحنا حطمنا السلاسة وأغلقت زنزانة التحقيق Essential aid has also begun to flow into the Gaza Strip after the truce came into effect. Trucks loaded with humanitarian aid entered Gaza through the Rafah border. 137 trucks of goods had been offloaded in Gaza, making it the biggest convoy received since October 7th. Up next, Israel has also received a list of hostages set to be freed today by the Hamas militants. And this will mark the second day of the planned four-day truce. And for more on this, we were earlier joined by Elijah J. Magna, war correspondent and analyst from Brussels. Take a listen.
This is a very good question. First of all, we have seen the Israelis are prepared to release 300 prisoners, which means that for the first 50 prisoners uh, that are going to be released or the captives that are going to be released by Hamas, it is going to take uh, four days. Now, in exchange of the 50, the Israelis are releasing 150, not 300, which means that the Israeli government is prepared for an extension of another four days or perhaps more. However, I have seen many wars that Israel has carried out against Gaza and Lebanon. And I can tell you from my experience with Benjamin Netanyahu is not someone who likes a long war. And this is a very long war if he wants to listen to the radicals in his government that brought him to what's happening and what happened on the 7th of October. Now, we have seen a difference between Ben Gvir as the security minister and the finance minister, Smortich, that he is also one of the hawks in the government of Benjamin Netanyahu, and he is a very far radical uh, minister. And the Smortich considered that this is a good deal because the Israeli domestic pressure is huge on the government. And the Israeli domestic uh, people, in the, uh, the people of Israel want the release of their dear one as soon as possible. And they want the cessation of bombardment to release all the hostages because they are killing them with the bombardment.